How's it going everyone? So as you can see, that's definitely not Shetland. Um, we are down, or I am down in Wellington at the minute. I meet up with a few people. One of the main people is Kat from Octical, uh, which is that Lou brand which I've been using. We done the the little taste, the test, not taste test, the test. Um, when Arian was up in Shetland, we are actually getting the ferry down to the South Island today. We're, we're going to be involved in a competition, which is, I think has been a sellout, over 300 divers, so it's going to be pretty mega. My first time really competing and stuff, but it's going to be amazing. I just can't wait to get in the water there, see some different fish and see how it goes. And don't worry, I'll be taking you all step of the way. So let's get into it. So we're at the digs, but we're currently possibly hunting in the cupboard. With GoPros. With Not GoPros. <laughs> we even have a spa for when we're absolutely knackered after diving. Both at that end. But for now, let's get the wetsuit on and get the gear set up. Yeah. So we are actually competing in the Summer Slam comp. Um, I'll be competing with Joel, who I met today and we'll be diving in the comp together, I'm absolutely buzzing. We're keen as keen to get in there and have a quick go, so that's what we're gonna do. After getting all the guns and gear set up and double checking my weights, as I'm now using a five mil suit, and also checking the most important part, the scupper, and yep, it works perfectly fine. We actually ended up not having that much time to do any spearfishing because we had to be back to sign in for the competition. Now there's 300 contestants all signing up so it was pretty busy by the time we got there but we managed to get some food and some beers and we also decided on doing an early early start. Welcome to the 2022 Standard Sound Summer Slam. Um, just to kick things off. So it's quarter past four. We decided to do the early run and we're going to go get dropped off early. Um, we're just making a cup of tea. Nice British thing to do. <laughs> and hopefully that makes our brains think a bit. We still have to get a wetsuit, which we're not very happy about. <laughs> a wet wetsuit. Wetsuit time, so I better get it on. That doesn't feel fun. <laughs> get light so we're just going to get kitted up and then hop in or use night vision one or the other hopefully this one's got some nice kingies or something on it Despite our best efforts, we ended up not seeing a single kingfish. We had a small shoal of uh, baitfish come through, but there was nothing chasing it. And it was a bit eerie diving in the dark and the gloom, so it was quite nice seeing a bit of light come through early in the morning. 
But after a while, we got a bit hungry and thought we'll conserve some energy, we'll go fill up on some food, and we'll pick the rest of the crew up, ready for a big day spear vision. We decided to start the day off, or the second part of the day, off by going in into the sounds and having a look around some small local spots in about some mussel farms as we know that kingfish sometimes love to school about them as well as some other species of fish. Now I ended up having a couple of sticky sinuses which is really not what I wanted. My heart kind of dropped a bit but I thought no, carry on, so I headed to the shallows in the search of some power for dinner. But one thing I did forget is something to put them in. After picking up the girls, we made the decision we're going to punch it out wide and go find some clearer and open water. Now, before we even got to some blue water and I hit the shallows, there's some cool little creatures kicking about. A nice little seahorse here and a very beady eye from a big old octopus. It wasn't long before Joel called me over and he said you better get your ass down there because there's fish everywhere. And he was not wrong, there were schools of terror key and Moki cruising in and blue cod everywhere. But blue cod you're not allowed to shoot because they've been overfished so they've put a stop on them which is pretty good. And unfortunately my GoPro died in my head. So I didn't get the kill shot but I managed to get down and get myself a beautiful Moki which I was over the moon about. And then after a few more dives I got right down and sat on the bottom and I kind of just sat there as all these fish were swimming about and I decided to try and get a nice terrakey for dinner and to enter into the competition. I didn't think it would be on one spear though. I aimed up on this big one and just as I pulled the trigger another one swam in front of it and boom I got both. Both well over legal size and that means one for the table as well. After a crazy early start to the day and a long day diving with lots of ups and downs and sinus problems and location, 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 we got there in the end, we shot some fish, we can enter into the competition and we've got plenty for dinner as well. It's definitely time for a beer and it's well deserved all around. So we're just done for the day, the others are chilling up in the hot tub, 
We are on fish filleting and gutting duty. We're gonna keep certain fish to enter into the competition. We only just got into them at the end. Uh, my sinus has been hell on earth, but I managed to get down on a few dives at the end. And thankfully, there's a good amount of fish everywhere. So I got into them. GoPro battery died as well, but I just kept going. Uh, and I was getting into them. It was awesome to be fair, just an awesome moment and it all came together at the end of the day. But now we're gonna get stuck into it. Got some nice muggy. Um I've never shot them before. Pretty cool fish actually. I missed a really big one. It turned at the last minute and turkey. Uh, I always thought they'd be very small. He's like, no, these are very decent size. So shoot away and then apparently they're great eating but what i'm going to do is um pick the biggest one so i can at least enter something into the comp basically as a backup um and when my sinuses were playing up i got a whole load of power as well which it's been a while since i had some of these but i can't wait to taste it black black gold apparently and i also got a butterfish but it was um it's legal, but it's on the small side. A bit different to shock and a scallop. This is New Zealand Power. There's different kinds, isn't there? Uh, here we got black, uh, Blackfoot and Yellowfoot. But, uh, abalone. So anyway, yeah, so abalone. Who doesn't know? This is Blackfoot. Which are pretty well. They're hard to get off rocks and they're hard to get off shell. So there you go. That's where your pretty shell comes from, which people might know Power from. That's what you see on a rock. That's the meat, and then this is all the guts, which I can't remember what I do. Do I just pull it off or do I cut it? Yeah, this thing. <laughs> There's your doer. There's the crap sack. Crap sack. That's yeah. the rest of it. Is that, is that the teeth? Yeah. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the teeth which they eat all their stuff off the rocks and stones basically, all the kelp and the small stuff. And then that's the foot. So that's the bit we eat, which it is actually white. It's just black skin, which you can see me taking it off there. Yeah! I'm sure it'll be over here real soon to eat all the stuff I'm throwing. I'm excited to eat these because it's been a long time since I've had them. And well, they're literally pretty hard, but you boil, you mash, you do everything in them, don't you? They mince them and make them to burgers as well, which is a pretty cool way of doing it. You can't really get better than this. This is literally fresh out of the sea, only a few hours ago, collected by all of us, and I've just met all these people, and they've just accepted me into the little family already and we've had so much fun and it's just day one. I can't thank Kat from Optical enough for taking me on this trip and Joel as well for being my partner. I'm looking forward to day two and we're gonna need to burn off some of this food because I am gonna eat a lot. Again, this is what it's all about. It's not just about the competition. That's not necessarily why we're doing it. We're just doing it for the fun of it. Support the spearfishing community but also just to get together and shoot your fish, eat your fish, and just tell those stories with a few beers at the end of the day. 
thanks for watching guys and a big shout out to everybody who helped me on this competition and all the people involved with the accommodation and the food and the helping and the boats and everything big shout out to you guys and if you want to see day two join me next time That there was a possum in the cupboard? The possum was in the cupboard. Hey, mate. There's a possum cupboard. He guards all the, the toiletries and stuff like that, basically. And Return, we just give her a bit of food. Her, apparently it's a her.